Newton's second law says that force is uh, equal to uh, the, the mass of the object times the acceleration imposed on it. Okay, F equals ma. You might have heard that. Um, hey, everybody's upside down. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's better. F equals ma, and that's a pretty simple uh, equation, but it really means a whole lot uh, to people who study how things move. And uh, let's do a little demonstration of F equals ma. I've, uh, I'm down here on the, on the floor of the space station, or we call it the deck, because we have some bungees set up. Bungees hold our stuff down. So, but a bungee is a good way to impose a particular amount of force on things because it's, it's uh, elastic and you pull it back a little bit and you let go and it has some uh, force. So we can apply approximately the same amount of force to different things, okay? And the candy has a little, just a little bit of mass. Now mass is, we think of it like weight, but that's because on Earth, we're under the same acceleration everywhere, the acceleration of gravity, okay? So, um, so uh, the weight equals the mass of this, or mass of anything, times acceleration, which is gravity. So that's why something that has a lot of mass, like oh, a watermelon, um, uh, it feels heavier, or it is heavier on the Earth than a candy-coated chocolate, because it has, a watermelon has more mass than candy. Let's put this candy under a little bit of force and see what happens. Okay, see that? Here, let me go catch it. The force, the small amount, the force that the bungee exerted uh, equaled the mass, which is small, uh, times the acceleration that it experienced. Okay, so big acceleration, uh, little mass for the same amount of force. Okay, so force. Force equals that mass. Let's do that, put that force on the old hammer. Let me eat my subject here and see what happens, okay? Okay, here's about the same deflection. Okay, did you see that? A lot less acceleration. So, since the force is the same, the force from the bungee was the same, but the mass was really small for the chocolate, it experienced a fast, a, a bigger acceleration. So it got a bigger, a faster speed. With a bigger mass, the same amount of force resulted in a slower acceleration, which resulted in a uh, slower speed. 